हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब्ड इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द 300 केजी बार बी ओरिजिनली एट रेस्ट इज बीइंग टोल्ड ओवर अ सीरीज ऑफ स्मॉल रोलर्स डिटरमाइन द फोर्स इन द केबल व्हेन टी इक्वल्स टू 5 सेकंड्स इफ द मोटर एम इज drawing in the cable for a short time at a rate of this v equals to 0.4t square vt is in seconds from 0 to 6 seconds how far does the bar move in 5 seconds and neglect the mass of the cable pulley and the roller so first of all we have to determine the force in the cable right that is the tension in the cable so now if i consider the free body diagram of uh, this 300 kg bar so let's say this is our 300 kg bar so since here we have those rollers so there is no friction involved right and there here we will have that tension t force which is required to be determined right so this is the tension t which is in the cable and it is having some velocity in this direction right so let's say that this is my positive x and y direction right here we will have that normal force of the rollers right this is that normal force and here we will have the weight of this bar which is 300 times 9.81 so if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x and let's say that the acceleration is a x is let's say equal to a right so then we can write that here we have only this t force which is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus t and this will be equal to the mass of that uh, bar which is 300 this is 300 into a right so now we are given the velocity right so the velocity equals to 0.4 t square so the acceleration of the bar will be equal to dv by dt so if we take the derivative of this so this will be 2 into 0.4 into t right so from this we can find acceleration when t equals to 5 seconds so acceleration is equal to 2 into 0.4 into 5 so 2 into 0.4 into 5 this is the acceleration of the bar after 5 seconds so acceleration of the bar this is at 5 seconds So acceleration of the bar is four meter per second square. So now, if we plug in this value in this equation, right? So then we will be able to find tension in that cable, right? So this T is equal to three hundred into that four. So this is equal to twelve hundred newton, or we can say that this is one point two kilo newton tension in that cable, which was required. further we are required to find how far does the bar move in 5 second we have to find the distance right so again we are given that we last year is a function of time which is 0.4 t square so if i write that this velocity is this is equal to dv by dt 0.4 t square and if we multiply dt on both sides so we will have the equation like this dv is equal to dt now we can integrate this this is ds by dt right velocity is this velocity is ds by dt sorry this is this is ds right this is ds so initially it was at rest and let's say that the initial position of the bar is s equals to 0 and let's say that after after 5 second let's say that it is at a distance of s right and this is from 0 to t So now if I integrate this so this will be s minus 0 and this will be 0.4 t raised to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to t and if we put these limits so we will be left with this equation so now s at 5 seconds is equal to 0.4 divided by 3 into 5 to the power 3 right So zero point four divided by three into five to the power three. So this is equal to sixteen point six seven meters. Sixteen point six seven meters. So s after five seconds 
is equal to 16.67 meters right and the acceleration after 5 seconds is 4 meter per second square and the tension in the cable after 5 seconds is 1.2 kilonewton. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it. Also like these videos if you people want me to solve such more problems.